Alrighty folks, welcome back to another video from Yates Computers Tips and Reviews. So this is one of these little things that I've seen a lot of and it's kind of funny and is safety of your accounts. I see people that use a lot of public computers, public access, knowing that your accounts are safe. If you log in to someone else's computer that is not really a best practice and a safe procedure to do i don't recommend it because a lot of computers capture your logins and your passwords by default knowing how to clear all of those caches and all those safe passwords are fairly somewhat important i see where people download tax forms and download all kinds of stuff to a computer and it's left there. And the next person could come log in and see that data. Knowing your accounts are safe, making sure you absolutely sign out of every account if you have to log into a computer. And I'm kind of shocked still that this is happening, especially with today's modern age of new age tech these things are small enough these things should be able to log into any kind of account you want other than using a public computer somewhere to log into because this gets into that safety feature and the security feature of knowing where your data is where your logins are and all of this type of stuff if you log into this device and you get onto an internet and you make sure you have proper security. You have your firewall, your VA, your no, your virus scans, all those type of features on here. You can even use a VPN. I have a video about VPN, how security works. This is where a VPN is somewhat helpful because now you're in a public place where you can actually portal your da data from here to that access point and then out onto the internet. So anything in between. I talked about going through firewalls and all the other security features. <clears throat> Why you also need the firewall is, is because now you're on a public network. I have about networks, all the other stuff that I've talked about in these last videos. <clears throat> You want to make sure someone can't have access into your device to take over the device and get your data. So this is one of those things that I wanted to touch on with your user account. Your user account would be saved on this device instead of a public device and knowing those type of things. Understanding how the VPN is different between this device in a public environment and in a home environment are two different factors. How to keep your logins and everything secure. And then you always kind of still want to sign out because that's your session cookies and all that other type of stuff that's on these devices that can still be compromised and copied and someone can get access by using a session cookie instead of using your login and password. I have videos on all kinds of security stuff and all of that, but understanding just that term and understanding that concept will save you the headache of actually having to understand how a session cookie works, how you get a session cookie, when it expires, all those security procedures that that server uses and how it issues it and when it expires and how long it expires and all of that type of stuff. You don't really have to get into if you follow best practices, best procedures. And the security of your account, everything you log into, log out of. So you close that session cookie. Your Yahoo accounts, all your emails, all the banking sites have a session cookie that expires because I believe that is the law and all of that security features and 
all of that type of stuff. There's other things that session cookies don't expire. You have to log out. That's how some streamer channels and other stuff are getting taken over and all these little weird things are going on is because the session cookie is still live. So I hope everybody understands what and how to secure a user account and what devices to do it on and how to do it and where not to do it. And to understand you can use a public device but you need to secure it and lock it down in a such a way and make sure you know how to keep your data safe. So I want to touch base on that and make sure that you understand that because again, this is your data. This is your privacy. This is your identity that can be actually stolen if someone gets into certain accounts and can do certain things and want to make sure that people really understand the importance of this because I see this in computers go log in and why is this email account open and why is all this stuff downloaded and you know people log into people's games I mentioned before and I believe one of the past videos that went and rented a hotel room and got in there and they had a smart TV that had Netflix and other things on it and I click on Netflix and it logs right into someone's account. Somebody used that TV on the internet to watch their Netflix but didn't sign out. How long has that account been live? Go into the other room, click on the other TV. It's on someone else's Netflix account. Having access to that, I could go and delete that account, add users, add sub accounts. You can do a lot of things through that account. And it wasn't just Netflix. There was other things that were still with members' logins. Knowing to sign out of those smart TVs and other things. People just go sign in, but don't think of signing back out. Making sure you sign out of all these devices. Because someone can have access, and start watching pay-per-view movies and you get the bill for it. Add services, they can do all kinds of stuff. If you don't have proper password lockdown so they can't order movies and do other things, so this is where the account safety and your account passwords and understanding to sign out of things. This is something that I see a lot of. Understanding that these devices don't automatically just clear what you do. And again, this is your account. This is your information. This is your safety. This is your stuff. This is your bill that you're going to get. This is going to be your headache you're going to have to deal with later. Because a lot of times they probably won't even be able to tell you, oh, this was in New Mexico that someone did this, or this was in in Oregon where you left it logged in, or this was they're they're not gonna they're not gonna really care. It was your account someone signed into that this process took place in. You might get lucky and they say, oh yeah, I could see it was from this IP, so yeah, maybe it wasn't you or what. But it was you who logged in because you're the one that had the credentials and all that to start with. Knowing this can save you a lot of headaches and a lot of hassles and could save you hundreds of dollars. So this is one of those features that I see a lot of people that they're not doing they're not signing out you need to make sure you sign out and if you really have to you go into the browser and you clear the saved passwords and you say clear all that stuff out or you should just have your own little device almost everybody should have their own little device they should have a cell phone they should have a little tablet I don't know too many people that don't have a cell phone that can't log into their accounts unless it's some kind of business phone or something that they're not allowed to use for their personal usage 
then get a little tablet, get something. Because that's a better security feature for you to secure your accounts. So that's what I wanted to touch up on on this video. I mentioned about the security of those devices and how many networks they're on and all of those type of things. Again, that's why you sign out. Alrighty. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy some of these security videos. Hopefully you understand them all. If not, do your homework, do your research. There's lots of other people. No, there's other people out there. I don't want to say there's lots because that's why I'm doing these videos. Because I can't really see too many people talking about this content that's very important. Thank you so much.